on YouTube, it's your man the Dark Rifle, and I'm coming to y'all today with some tips on how to dominate in the dark zone solo. Alright, so step one, the number one rule is to have a hybrid build. No matter what, the way to dominate in the dark zone by yourself is to have a hybrid build so you can have your uh, med kits and your pulse back if you're using pulse, or your turret back if you like turrets, or an immunizer, etc. Um, also, the second step is know when to use your heals. Don't be using your heals just to, um, don't just use your heals to get to max health. Like, when you, if you're using Unforgiven, try to stay on, like, the second or the first bar. Not the first bar, but if you can stay on the second bar of health, that will help you out a lot. Also, when you're low in, if you're using a refresh mask on your hybrid build, when you hit the last segment, try to use your med kit, not really your, um, your overheal or your booster shot because that won't do you any good because you're just wasting it uh, when med kits you can always find them around the map uh, the third thing is your movement and I say your movement as in strafing or knowing what place to be and where to be at that place like your positioning so if you're getting gunned down by four people and you can't really do anything just back off a little bit run away a little bit try to get to a better position like if you can keep them in the alleyway or if you can get them to run down the stair you can always throw a nade on their body so it's really good to have good movement in the game also some people always make this mistake by trying to ads and trying to shoot like gun someone down like face tank someone don't really try to face tank that much unless you know you have the person beat um the fourth step is Try to go rogue near med kits and like just go rogue or wear a general place that you know like the back of your hand. Like if you know DZ2 and 1, like the subway station and going towards the extraction, they have like five med kits there. So if I was you, I would personally go rogue down in the lower DZ because they have a lot more med kits. Well, I know where most of the med kits are down in the lower DZ. So I would fight down there because you just have a lot more med kits down there. Also, the sixth thing is ADS. Try to aim down sight because it's going to help you out in the long run. Because if you're trying to hit fire still in 1.6.1, it's really not going to help you that much because there's other players out here aiming down sight and they're perfecting their aim down sight. They have really good aim. For me, I don't think I possibly have good aim because I can one clip someone with the gun that I have from I'm using uh, my hybrid build because it's just so easy if you have aim and you can get your crit hits. But, if you hit fire in this meta, like learn how to work your way around stuff. Like don't be afraid to like run behind cars and bounce off of stuff because really it's not going to help you. So please try to ADS. Remember what I said from the beginning. Don't really try to face tank someone. But if you have to face tank them, you're going to face tank them, and most likely you're going to win because you're running a hybrid build and your heals come back like that. It comes back really nice. Um, so lastly is the the last step. So. The last rule is the counter seekers and counter turrets. So the way I counter seekers is the way probably almost everyone counter seekers. Normally I like to run with immunizer box because immunizer box help you out so much and you have to learn when you use your med kit because it's going to help you out. But normally when seekers come towards you, try to roll. Or if you're around NPCs and you see NPCs around you, run towards the NPCs because the mechanics in the game is going to automatically make the seekers lock on to the NPCs because they're closer and they're also a threat to agents in the game um, and to counter Terrence like I said use an immunizer box and if they're using a shock that will be great to use immunizer box so just drop the immunizer down next to the box and it's going to start shooting a box or it's going to still try to shoot you but it won't be able to zap you and also don't waste a med kit inside of a immunizer box because it's really it's no point because you can always blow the immunizer box up after you're done killing a person so after you're done kill that person the tank's going to be destroyed and that's going to be really good but if someone's using like the the automatic turret is all you have to do is run around run around it about one time and the mechanics is gonna it's just gonna freak the turn out a little bit but it's gonna still lock back onto you but just use cover to your advantage if someone throws the turn in the middle of the street work beside the cars try to kill people off that's beside the cars because it's not really gonna shock you through a car or shoot you through a car because it can't it has no visual on you and use your cover as an advantage always use cover as as your advantage just when you're in a dark zone, you know how to survive now, so you know how we do it, man. Let's get it. Let's rock. Also, guys, I'm sorry that I'm uploading different games that you don't want me to be uploading, but if you don't like a video, please 
thumbs down the video if you don't like it also leave a comment and tell me what gameplay you want to see and what you want to play next because i'll play anything that my subscribers want to play because you guys help me grow this channel i know i don't have that many subscribers i'm about to hit 500 so that's honestly a blessing to me that i'm about to hit 500 because i'm going to give away at 550 subscribers so if you know anybody that can come out and help me with the channel just ask your family to watch me if someone else plays the division recommend them to my channel also i'm sorry for the noise that you guys hear in the back of my mic sometimes my family is just really rowdy i know this isn't a soul move man hunt gameplay and i know i'm playing with some friends but my bad for not bringing out any division lately because my account's been banned so i really couldn't do any uh solo man hunts so if you want me to do a solo man hunt video in the future and how i do that please like and subscribe and comment down below and let me know that you but let's get another outro man you know how we do it let's get it let's rock enjoy the clip bye